Good morning, family. It is so good to see you here today. Yesterday, we had a little bit of struggle and issues. Um, evidently, Facebook and Restream weren't connecting up the way that they normally do. And so today, <clears throat> we've recorded these and we set these to go uh, at 8 o'clock this morning on Friday, the 15th. And so they're not live. I just want to say that they're not live. They're pre-recorded so that we can avoid the delay. So you'll know we've loaded them up to Facebook and to YouTube on our channel. And they will they have started playing at our normal devotional time at 8 o'clock. And um, I just, I want you to know, so sorry about that. We I re-taped, uh, I recorded actually yesterday's devotion and reposted it to both sites. So if you'd like to go back and see maybe a, a better version or maybe you missed it because you didn't get a notification um, from Facebook, well, that's because Facebook didn't go live yesterday. So today we're going to be in the 23rd Psalm. And I want to say that uh, today's title of our devotion is You're in Better Hands with Jesus. And it's kind of a play off of the Allstate commercials. You've seen them. You're in good hands with Allstate. Yeah, you've seen them. But before we get to that, you know, I want to kind of recap yesterday a little bit. In the end, we ended with this idea and this thought that God, he doesn't answer to anyone. He answers to himself, right? But we've always got to remember, and from the story of Job, we can see that God is for us. That when we have faith in God, we can also see that God has faith in us, right? And so his love has been answered, his love for us. When we ask God why this or where are you in that, his answer has been given to us all completely, wholly, um, not wholly H-O-L-Y, but W-H-O-L-Y, completely, in uh, the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And it's when we place our faith and our trust in Jesus Christ, that affords us the confidence to know that God is for us no matter what the situation we're in. Now today we're going to be in the 23rd Psalm. Uh, and I told you that earlier, but go ahead and turn there and get ready to read that together with me. Um, but I want to remind you too that the Board of General Superintendents have asked all Nazarenes, they've called them to a week of prayer across the globe, a week of prayer and fasting. And today's prayer, Friday's prayer, is to pray for unity among God's people and for healing across the nations, not just our nation, although our nation really needs some unity and some healing, but for healing across the globe, okay? And then this week, you know, uh, I called uh, anyone who's on these uh, on these devotions in the morning, I called us to 21 days of prayer in 2021, and we are praying that our churches would hit overflowing, uh, be overflowing with people before Easter, that the Holy Spirit would go before us preparing hearts and creating opportunities for us to invite our families and friends, our neighbors, our co-workers into personal relationship with Jesus. Notice I didn't tell you we're going to invite them to church. No, we're going to invite them into personal relationship with Jesus, okay? When we get them in church is going to be a whole other story. It's a, it's a whole other issue, okay? And not only that, but that someone would be given to you by Christ that Jesus would, his Holy Spirit would work on someone that you would have an opportunity to disciple someone this year, a new convert this year. That doesn't just mean bring them into relationship with Jesus. That also means begin walking with them on this journey and discipling them, teaching them what you've learned, right? That's what Jesus told us to do. And so I want us to keep this in mind as we read the scripture together, the 23rd Psalm. Would you read it with me this morning? And I'm reading from the NIV, so please, please, please know that. And I've there's a little bit of differences in it. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, the valley of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. 
Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Can we all say the word of God for the people of God? Thanks be to God. You know, that's really important that um, we remember this psalm. Like I alluded to earlier, probably one of the well uh, most well-known commercials that are on TV even right now is this series by Allstate Auto Insurance, and they feature this character named Mayhem, right? I love it. I mean, they crack me up all the time. But this commercial really taps into the idea that life is chaotic and unpredictable, and you never know what's going to happen or what's going to come your way, and that can kind of be unsettling. And we as human beings, I'll admit this even as me, we as human beings want to know what lies ahead for us. We like to know what kind of protections do we have? What kind of assurances are there in life? Uh, If a disaster comes, in the end, is everything going to work out okay? And if you look at these commercials, with each commercial with mayhem, something catastrophic is shown. And then at the end, the viewer is reassured that with Allstate, you're, you're in good hands with Allstate, right? The company logo comes down, these, these divine-like hands reaching down from heaven, and they protect you, right? Well, this marketing campaign, it works because it resonates with people. It's a comforting thought to know that you're in good hands and that the things in life that you value the most, that mean the most to you, are in those good hands. You know, the Allstate logo could actually be a picture of the Christian life, except for, I would say... We are better in better hands when it comes to God. Better than we can ever imagine. Right? Because honestly, God is all we need. Whether in life or in death, God is what we need. So in this life, the things we often celebrate are like the acquisitions of things, the accomplishments of jobs and careers. But truthfully, what we should be celebrating is God in us, right? Because he's all we need. He's all we need in good times. He's all we need when we're, we're tempted to forget that he's there. He's, he's all we need in the bad times. He's all we need, period. Boom, drop the mic. So as I close here this morning, I want to leave you with something. For those of you who've watched these Allstate commercials and get a kick out of them as much as I do, you're going to never forget this because you're in better hands. Aren't you glad you have Jesus? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you for today and we thank you for this time together, Lord. We truly need to grab a hold of this psalm, the 23rd Psalm. As we fast and as we pray, we look at the benefits in this in this particular piece of scripture where you prepare a table for us to eat. In other words, to sit down and to recline, you you cause us to rest and, and stop our ceasing and you refresh us and all of these different things that you do for us. But the bottom line is, is that even when we take that walk, that all of us are going to have to take that journey that we have to take in the valley of the shadow of death, we don't have to be afraid because you are truly all we need. And Lord God, we want other people to experience that kind of rest, that kind of contentment, that kind of hope, that kind of trust. And we want them to experience that kind of love to have had a God that thinks we are so important to him that he died for us. And so, Father God, we once again come before you and we pray during this time of prayer and fasting that um, the Church of the Nazarene has called us to, Lord God, we pray for unity among your people. Lord God, we pray for for, uh, the nations to become peaceful and and for nations to be healed across the globe. But Lord God, we also pray for the healing of our nation. Lord God, some of us have experienced uh, these things and we're just beside ourselves. It's it's appalling. It's shocking. There's all sorts of different things that are going on. And Father, we need you. More than ever, we need you in the life of our people, not just the church. Lord God, we're praying for the whole country. And Father God, we're also praying and seeking you because we want to be able to enlarge the kingdom. Lord God, we want your kingdom to grow. 
And so, Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit go before us and prepare hearts, Lord God, that we would be able to do the inviting into your kingdom, that we would be lifting up your Son so that people would be drawn to him. And Father God, would you bring us each at least one new convert this year? Lord God, one new person that we would be able to disciple in your ways, teaching them the things that you have taught us and how we live life the Jesus way. And Lord God, give us that opportunity to bring someone into the way. Holy Spirit, would you give us all the tools that we need to do this? Would you give us everything that we need? Would you do that work in us first? And then work through us to enlarge the kingdom of God here on earth, right now, this very moment. We praise you and we thank you for all that you've done. And we praise you and thank you for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Remember, folks, if you want some of those uh, resources like the the 21 Days of Prayer, Bible readings, and, um, and prayer focuses and the different things about praying and fasting. If you want that, send me an email to info at richlandnaz.org. And if you're part of the Church of the Nazarene and you want to be able to see and read what the Board of General Superintendents has put out as far as calling us to prayer and fasting for the week, um, for this week, um, you can go to www.nazarene.org. It's actually one of their banner things. So if it clicks by, eventually it'll come to it. And you can click on the read more button there. If you have trouble finding that article, again, you can always email me back at info at richlandnaz.org. I have so enjoyed our time together. I love you guys. I love sharing God's word. And I pray that it is going out and that you are being filled on a daily basis with God's word so that so that his kingdom grows inside of you. The way that I have experienced God growing inside of me over this past year, uh, almost year of doing these daily devotions. In fact, we are just two months away from me doing daily devotions for a whole year uh, each morning on uh, Facebook Live. And just a few months that we've been doing these on YouTube Live as well. But man, what what an awesome experience I've experienced as God has grown inside of me doing this work that he is doing in me. It has been so formative for my for just my daily walk and my daily life. And so I pray that you're experiencing the same thing. Don't forget, uh, you share the gospel when you share and you like and you comment in these devotions, okay, because that spreads it throughout Facebook land. And that spreads it, if you're on YouTube, throughout YouTube to other people who might want to see that. And then don't forget at 1030 on Sunday mornings, we have church uh, here in person in the building and also live on Facebook and on YouTube as a live streaming service. Um, So we have a, a 25% capacity of our sanctuary. That means 150 people. But you know what? We got plenty of room here. We got plenty of room for 150 people. And so, you know, I I would encourage you, if you feel like you want to come and make um, some real connections and and some actual FaceTime, um, then show up 1030 Sunday morning. If if you want to just join on Facebook, hey, that's wonderful. That's great. Um, Stay healthy. Wash your hands. And would you go and God's grace and peace. God bless.